Hello, Rob here with Skid Steer Genius. I've got a real treat for you today. I've got a Bobcat 7 pin control. This is straight from the Bobcat Corporation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on this little S150 machine here. It should be pretty straightforward, but I know a lot of people ask me this question. They're not quite sure how this all works, so we're going to show you how it all goes together. It's pretty straightforward. The mounts are already in place here, just above the hydraulic coupler. So really the time consuming thing here is going to be to fish this connector through with the wire harness and get it up to this point where we can connect it. But luckily on these older machines it goes pretty straight through because there's no boom that we have to fish it through. So with that said, let's get started. The first thing I do when I buy a kit like this is I spread everything out on the ground and I kind of go through it just to be sure I've got everything. So if I look here, here's my main harness. There's the seven pin termination with the mounting bracket. Here's the little barrel connector that's gonna plug in at the back of my machine. Here's a few clips. Here's the bolts that hold this mount on. Uh, here's a little mount, I'm not quite sure what it's for, and the instructions. And there's basically the price you should be paying for this. Um, I still think it's, over, it's overcharging for what you get, but it is what it is. So, if you look at this machine, all of the hoses, or the hose lines, they run on the external portion of the boom here. There's nothing that's getting fed through, so this is going to go pretty quick. Here's the mount here where it's going to go. If we follow the hoses along here, we're just going to tie wrap to the hoses as we run down these lines. We're going to come through, and we're going to feed down inside through here. And then this is the connection point. So this is the, the other end of that, where that barrel connector is. We're going to take this little cover off here. We're going to plug into here. And then everything should work. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to test it. So let's do that next. So there's no use putting this cable in. Getting it all set up, having it all ready to go, and then you find out that there's something wrong. So the first thing I always like to do is give it a test. So we take this little cover off here. See if I remember how to do that. It snaps right here. Okay, we've got the cover off. We take the mating adapter here and we plug it in. And then what I have here is just one of our genius controllers. This is the fastest way for me to test this. It plugs into the seven pin. It only requires that you have the key operational. You don't have to even start the machine up because this thing reads the codes off of the machine. And I have a little indicator on the back here so I can tell whether this is working. If I have a look here, you can see it flashing. That tells me that the controller is talking to the bus of the machine and we're ready to go. So all of this is operational, so now let's install it. So I'm gonna run this from the front to the back. And all I'm gonna do is, I've got a half inch socket here. Let's install this first. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Now I'm going to run the wire down here. And basically, I'm following the hydraulic lines. I'm pushing it through the hole here, following the hydraulic lines to the back of the machine. There's a little bit extra wire here. So I'm going to take that up. I'll just show you the back. 
So I'm at the back of the machine now. Here's the excess wire that I have. So all I'm gonna do is loop this up inside here. And I'll just tie wrap it up inside the machine so it's up out of the way. I'll plug my connector in. Okay, make sure you've taken all the loose connections and just tie wrapped them up. You've even got this little cap here left. You can tie wrap this to the harness just so it's not bouncing around and getting in the way. Uh, if you ever have to service the battery or whatever, you just want to have this all tie wrapped up out of the way. Um, again, here's my controller. I can plug this in on the front and test it and make sure that everything's good. So let's do that next. So I've got my Genius four channel controller. This is the 4014. I've got this plugged in here. So now I can, hopefully you can see this. I'm just going to fire up the machine now. And again, I, I don't have to actually operate the machine. You can just turn the, turn the key on. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's flickering. And then what I do is as I go through the buttons, you can see each one of them change state. And that tells me I've got full function, everything's working perfectly. It's all installed right now, um, so I'm ready to go. If you like this help video, hit the subscribe button. If there's some videos that we haven't produced that you're interested in, send us an email or contact us through the website and let us know what you're interested in. We're always looking for new content and creating new features for people and things that they can uh, work on on their own to get attachments working or get machines working. So once again, I'm Robin Skidster, Genius. Thanks for watching.